Be seated. Good morning. No prophet of his own hometown. That's the word of Jesus. When he said to the people of Nazareth, where Jesus was been uh, brought up by his parents, I'm so sure that lots of people is still recognize him there and knew him. That is why when he preached there in their synagogue during Sabbath, some of the people was, were saying, is he not Joseph's son? And Jesus knew their hearts that people of Nazareth was, were despising and would not or can hardly believe who Jesus is. And Jesus said, can you remember that there's no prophet to his own hometown in the years or the days of Elijah when the Lord Almighty closed the heaven for three years and there was a famine in the entire land? The prophet was not sent to the Israelites people because you guys are hard-headed. O kamu mismo, dilit mo budawat sa inyong kaguliyong propeta. Except for the woman in Sidon who is not part of Israel and part of God's covenant. That woman, the prophet there was sent. Elijah was sent there. And during the days of Naaman, there were many lepers in Israel. Pero Naaman, who is a Syrian, who is not an Israelite, he was the one who was cured from his disease. And not a single Israelite were been healed. Why? Because you guys are rejecting your own prophet and you killed your own prophet. O nangasuko ang mga tao tungod kay na insulto sila. O they want to throw Jesus down to the uh, cliff headlong for him to die, but Jesus passed through there in the midst of them and went away. What is the message here? If you try to Look at the life of Jesus. Jesus is not a pleaser of man. He doesn't care um, what's your judgment or on sa imong background or kinsaka. Especially sa mga kauban niya, mga amigo niya, people from Nazareth, na pa'y uban ito mga kadula niya siguro sa una, sabay niya ni Dako mga siligan, some of their, them were maybe a uh, member of the relatives. Pero Jesus is not like a politician. Nga mura bag gitik-gitik, pagganaganahan ka sa istorya. Jesus was so straightforward to them. Prangkagid siya. And if we look at the lives of the apostles, I believe they were also rejected by their own people. Kung naunaon yung apostoles, they were not Levites, they were not from Jerusalem, they are not from the class A family. And I'm sure when they preached to their family members, they were also rejected like Jesus. Kita po mga isoon, if you stand with the truth, lots of people will reject you. And there's nothing more hurting than to be rejected rejected by your own blood, by your own family, by your own people. Pero wala na discouraged si Jesus dana because he was not a man's pleaser. He is trying, or he is, but he was doing the will, the heart of the Father. That's our challenge today. That in this world, nga grabe kayo ang politics or grabe kayo ang diplomacy, can we still stand with the truth and do we have that courage and boldness to tell the truth to the people? It's hard. It's so hard. Diligid sa yun. Pero, like Jesus, ginareject it siya. Like the apostles, like his disciples, like the early fathers, they were rejected too. But they keep on preaching and telling the truth. That is our challenge today. Please stand.